Vikastis! Welcome back! I'm glad you could be here to witness this momentous occasion. Why are the Archons in chains? I invited my dear siblings here for one final lesson in leadership. It looks like an execution to me. Every experience in life should be a lesson, including death. You've been to the Underworld, so I know you understand what these fools do not. You asked me to help the Archons. I did. Their problems are solved. Their problems only existed because they couldn't perform the duties their roles demanded. You're going to murder your brothers? For what? For order? For peace? For Atlantis! For Atlas, you mean? I am the rightful heir to Atlantis. I should be the Vikastis. I cannot defy Poseidon's will, but these fools don't deserve their power. I'll be a better Archon in their stead. Once Poseidon finds out what you've done, he won't let you get away with it. That is our way. The way of progress. You are not one of us. I've seen your compassion to those who dwell in this city. Perhaps our ways are not as perfect as Poseidon thinks they are. Parents do what they think is best, but it doesn't mean they're always right. We have to look out for each other, no matter what we're told. Wise, Dicastis. I respect your decision for the moment. So what now? If you're going to one day rule the city, Alexios, you're going to have to learn a very important lesson. That's what I get for helping you? A lecture? Just some words of advice. Nothing in Atlantis is what it seems at face value. This city is old, and those that call it home are even older. You have helped me, Nikastis. And for that, you have my thanks. This isn't over, Atlas. On the contrary, I'm done here. Ah, the Castis. I heard you can help me with the Solar Floral Regeneration Project. Uh... The what? Oh, forgive me. Let me start from the beginning. I'm Neocles, an Imperial botanist here in Atlantis. I'm engineering a way to aid floral regrowth. The flowers here can't just grow on their own? Oh, no! You're not one of those followers of Minerva, are you? I don't know anyone named Minerva. Her students are so small-minded about my photosynthesis accelerator. If you want to be a scholar, why follow such a rudimentary doctrine? Look, do you need something from me? Oh, apologies, Nikastis. You're new to Atlantis, and I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me begin. Basically, the plants are a key resource for us here. But a few cycles ago, humans overpicked them, and now the air is suffering. You want to grow more? In a sense, yes. I have a hypothesis, a theory that using a natural power source stronger than the sun will promote sustainable growth. You're losing me again. There are devices that project beams of light around the Garden of Triton. Redirecting them using the reflective surfaces would stimulate floral regrowth. You want me to move your lights? Yes! And the Castis, taking care of our natural resources, would send a message to all of Atlantis. A good message, I hope. That must be the device Neocles mentioned. Reminds me of how I opened the door to Atlantis. Thank <laughs> you. 
marked. <laughs> First one down. growing in no time. Beautiful. That should do it. I'll tell Neocles it's done. That doesn't seem good. What happened? I moved your light beams. It seemed to be working, but then... The beams are aligned, yes, but the power isn't running. What do you think the problem is? Uh, none of this makes any sense. The light beams should expand across the gardens and present with enhanced photons. Oh no. Something's wrong with the photons? Uh, are you making fun of me? Who doesn't know what photons are? Just me and the rest of the Greek world. N never mind the photons. When my enhanced source powers the device, it should... Oh. Unless the light is not progressing from the source, rendering it unenhanced. So the next step is... Go to the control room and make sure the power source isn't displaced. And what exactly is this source? An igneous matter consisting of imperial... <sighs> it's a rock. Just make sure there's a rock in the control room. <sighs> Fine. I'll go see if this rock is there. <sighs> Looks like Neocles was right. There is no rock here. Stop right there! Get back here! Uh, Malaka! What's the Dicastis doing running around here? I'm chasing down a thief. Looks like you're the one who took Neocles' rock. My name is Melita. I'm an environmental biologist, not a thief. Neocles has no claim to a natural power source like this. That rock must be worth a lot if you're trying to steal it. You're the Dicastis and you have no idea what the power source is? Aren't you invested in the future of our resources? It's easy. Put the rock in Neocles' device and we'll fix the flowers. This isn't Neocles' first attempt at population balancing. When the flowers were overpicked and the bees started dying, first he attempted to artificially pollinate the flowers. When he artificially pollinated the flowers, the soil degraded. When the soil... I get the idea. But then, how would you fix the gardens? I wouldn't. Nature has been healing itself for eons. Neocles needs to stop meddling. Melita! You've always been obtuse about the project. No accountability for civilization's impact on the ecosystem. Insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. When will you accept your hypothesis has failed? Failed is inaccurate terminology. I simply adjusted my theory after experiencing unintended results. Enough bickering, both of you. You're right. I wanted to destroy the power source to end his project once and for all. But as the Dicastis, it should be your decision. All right, give me the rock. I'll end this once and for all. Are you mad? You've completely annihilated our chances at future sustainability. Trust in Gaia. Nature will heal itself if you allow it. <coughs> Thank you, the Castis. This is the right direction to go in. 
We might not see improvements right away, but the gardens will heal themselves. This is intense. As though I can't tell where my hand ends and the staff begins. Melita said it would take time for the gardens to heal, but those flowers don't look good. I wonder what she'd make of this. The one who holds the staff has no choice but to face both immediate and future consequences for lifetimes. That takes responsibility. I can't do it. You may think I'm crazy, but at least I'm accountable. Quick, follow me. And trust the stranger. I'm no stranger. I'm El Peace. And I've been watching you. That's not ominous at all. <laughs> 